Hello friends, welcome back to another session of Servlet. In today's class, I'm going to discuss about the security issues of Servlet. So before getting started, let us look into what is a Servlet. A Servlet is a Java programming language class that is used to extend the capabilities of servers that host applications accessed by means of a request response programming model. So we also call it as the client server model. Although servlets can respond to any type of request, they are commonly used to extend the applications hosted by web servers. So Tomcat is an example of a web server. For such applications, Java servlet technology defines HTTP serv specific servlet class. So the API of the servlet is javax.servlet and javax.servlet.http packages provide interfaces and classes for writing the servlets. All servlets must uh, implement the servlet interface, which defines lifecycle methods like init method, service method, and then the destroy method. When implementing a generic service, you can use or extend the generic servlet class provided with the Java servlet API. The HTTP servlet class provides methods such as do post and do do get methods for handling HTTP specific services. An HTTP servlet is there in the package Java X dot servlet dot HTTP. So we'll now look into what are the security issues of the servlet. Okay, so now let us start understanding what are the problems with the servlet. Servlets are not useful for generating uh, presentation content such as HTML. So it is acceptable if you want to generate uh, smaller HTML um files however if uh, the size of the html document is large then it is tedious to process and to generate it okay so always so uh, make sure that there are no huge html documents in the servlet another drawback of the servlet is that you have to recompile the code yourself if you're making any modifications to the servlet uh, so once you make modifications you need to recompile it generate the dot class file and also you need to restart your web server okay so to get the effect of the modified code so this is again another drawback of the servlet and coming to the third drawback of the servlet, uh, so it is servlets often contain presentation logic as well as the processing logic, which makes the code very difficult to read. Okay, uh, so it is always good that we separate the presentation logic and the processing logic. Uh, so keep it specific. So when we keep it specific, then uh, the readability of the code will increase. So now that we understood what are the problems with the servlet, let us move on with the security concerns. Let's try to look into the security issues of the servlet. So the first one is, before installing servlets in the web server, make sure that they come from the trusted sources. So what is uh, meant by they come from the trusted sources? Uh, so we know what are servlets and applets. Servlets are the programs that reside on the server and applets are the program that help or extend the functionality of the browser. So applets run on the client side. So applets cannot perform operations that are potentially dangerous to a um, machine. So this could include reading and writing files, opening sockets to arbitrary machines and calling native methods and creating new processes. So all this can happen when you run an applet. So similar constraints uh, exist uh, for untrusted servlets as well. So code that is loaded from a remote machine is untrusted. So the trusted servlets are those which are loaded from the local machine. So um, so that is regarding the servlet. So always we need to make sure that the servlets are the trusted ones. And the next one is, uh, uh, so to avoid this unnecessary um, code, exec uh, untrusted servlet execution and um, unnecessary access of the file system by the servlets and all that. So we need to uh, include the concept of the sandbox. So what is a sandbox? A san sandbox is a container of servlets where the restrictions are imposed. This concept is similar to how browsers control applets and it is known as sandboxing. A servlet can originate from several sources as I already have sent, like it can be uh, generated, written by the webmaster, or the servlet may have been downloaded from another website, or it may have been bought as a part of the third party package. So based on the source of the servlet, a certain level of trust should be associated with the servlet. Some web servers provide a means to associate different levels of trust with different servlets.
servlets sandbox is an area where servlets are given restricted authority on the server they may not have access to file system or network or they may have been granted a more trusted status so here in the sandbox the servers the servlets will be given some trust status and it is up to the web server administrator to decide which servlets are granted this status sometimes um that a fully trusted servlet has a full access to the server's file system and networking capabilities uh, it can even perform the system.exit so when system.exit function is invoked method is invoked the exit method is invoked on the system class okay so stopping the web server takes place okay so even that kind of privileges can be given to a servlet access control list which we call it as acl okay so uh, each web server has its own means of specifying an acl but in general a list of users is registered on the server and those user names are called are, are used as an acl some servers also allow you to add users to logical groups so you can now uh, grant access to groups of users without specifying all of them explicitly in the acl ACLs are extremely important as some servlets can present or modify sensitive data and should be tightly controlled while others only present public knowledge and do not need to be controlled so many servers allow you to restrict access to certain web pages and servlets via the access control list an access control list is a list of users who are allowed to perform a specific function in the server so the list specifies what kind of access is allowed what object the access applied to and which users are granted access uh, so let me give you an example of acl okay so first uh, before giving the example let me tell you what is exactly meant by security in the web application uh, let us look into what is meant by security okay security is equal to okay so we can say security is equal to authentication authentication plus authorization authentication plus authorization okay uh, so what is meant by authentication authentication is checking the identification of the user okay authorization is verifying the access permissions of a user okay so say for example let us consider the ecap it's an application it's a web application wherein the faculty or the Uh, students can view their information so uh, what is authorization or authentication here is the authentication is like the username and the password that is given to different uh, people who access the ecap so here the the people who access this particular web application are given certain roles okay so they are given certain roles so the roles can be like it can be the student role or it can be the uh, faculty role or it could be the principal role okay and the admin role and all that okay so based on the role they can they'll be getting the privileges or they'll be getting the authorization so authentication is done so authentication is done by giving the username and the password and authorization is given based on the roles okay so based on the role the student will be able to see only his or her information and the faculty can, will be getting more privileges or more authorization and the principal will be getting uh, even more privileges he can view everything okay so this is what is called as access control list so by specifying all this username password and then the role details and the privileges in a list we call that list to be acl the administrator of the web server decides which servlets are given which permissions so as i already told you it depends on the role of the uh, user so in addition to these security issues the author of the servlet should consider following points take sufficient care while writing the file upload code and review the code that accesses files databases based on the user input make sure that the request comes from an authorized user do not rely on the existence of the session variable and make sure that you have not used the system.exit because this particular system.exit will close your web server and uh, so 
uh, anywhere in your program. So you should not be using this system.exit anywhere in your program and do not display sensitive parameters. So for example, password is a sensitive parameter. So do not display sensitive parameter values in the web page. So these are all the security issues that are there with the servlet. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.